Howdy, Possum Patty and Little Miss Titi here. And today is just going to be some journal play. Journal play today. I'm going to start by trying to make some borders for my journals with these mushroom border stamps. Sorry about the glare there. That I got from Crayspire. And I was thinking about some kind of craft paper. I want sort of a natural look. So I have some bags, some paper bags. <laughs> no, this is not a Dollar Tree haul, but I do have some paper bags. I'm going to rip this up because I want a natural look. And to me, this brown craft paper is sort of like a natural look. And then I'm going to stamp on there and then maybe get out some watercolors or some distress markers or something. Well, let's just see how this goes. Come on along. I got busy and I ripped up the paper bag. Well, let me backtrack. This is not the Dollar Tree paper bag. Uh, I looked in the bucket and there was one that had no printing on it at all. And I thought I'd try that. And this is a recycled, a bag made from recycled paper. So I'm going to recycle the recycled paper <laughs> into my mushroom border project. So I don't know if I'm making this many tonight, but I'm going to make a few and try some coloring. And let's see. I do not have any fancy stamping equipment. <laughs> uh, so I was thinking, what if I cut this? Did I do the right side? Yeah. What if I cut this and leave it on this acetate background? and try to print them this way. Let's see. I cleaned off my desk. I know, surprise, surprise. I took everything off the table <laughs> and I gave the table a good scrubbing. I threw everything down on the floor and Mr. Possum said, what's that mess? I said, I'm spring cleaning. <laughs> He's like, uh-oh. <laughs> Things stay messy for quite a while when I start cleaning. You know, I have so much of this. Why don't I just go ahead and put it on here? I'm going to be gentler. Be gentle. Gentle stamping. Okay. Yes, you can see all the details. I love this one. Love it, love it. See, if it's too dark, I don't think, you know, you're not going to see the colors, and I want to put colors on there. It's not that I'm being super super fussy it's just that if it's a big solid black you know that's gonna affect my colors now this is a very crowded design all right this is the first ink so I gotta make sure it's inked 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 all those little details There's a lot more mushrooms to see, I think, in the fall. There are a few summer ones. I saw those gorgeous cinnabar polypores, <laughs> big giant orange ones. Of course, we got the shelf mushroom. Oh, the deer. I think it was the deer. Something ate the shelf mushroom. I had a gorgeous one out in the woods and something ate it. I could journal about that. Oh, look what I did. Oh, I didn't get the edge. Or is that how it goes? Oh, no, I take that back. That's how it goes. Oh, 
is that? Oh, I wonder. Oh, I think I think you can continue it by putting that there. Oh, I, I put it down at an angle. Yes. Oh, my. This is made so that you can make it as long as you want. Wow. Love that. Love that. Love that. See, this one is just individual, so you can continue. But this one is so close together, but it starts with that half mushroom here. So you can just add them and add them. All right, super fun, super fun. All right, let me try this one. And then I will get out some colors. Ink it up. I am not a professional stamper. I am, I mean, I like stamps. I like to stamp stuff. I just don't like fussy stamping where, you know, everything has to be perfect. <laughs> Making your own stamps is super fun. Super fun. Oop, put my, ah. Oh, so I put my finger in the, uh, on the ink pad. Inky, inky. Gentle, gentle. I'm thinking maybe a little distress marker to start. I could do watercolors, but I might try all different things. I'm looking for the lid. Oh, here it is. <laughs> Under the rag, I used to wipe my fingers. Okay. Beauteous, beauteous, beauteous. Okay, I think, do I need to cut this into three strips so I can put that back on there? Is that what I should do? Is that what I should do? I'm trying to think if I have any other border stamps. Specifically called a border stamp. And I don't know if I do. My method worked. I'm happy with it. We've got some really nice stamping going on here. One extra one there. Well, I wonder if these are still good. At least I marked the bag that they were in and they were easy to find. Okay, I have some water. These are water soluble and I just need a little brush a little brush. I believe I bought these all at a flea market. <laughs> so I have a lot. I tend to have a lot of bulk of items that I buy at flea markets because <laughs> I tend to stock up when I find something at a really cheap price. But, you know, with markers, they just may dry up. I'm just taking water and bringing the color out a little bit. Like that. Hmm. All right, another color. Should I zoom in a little more? Okay, I have to remember not to move the paper. Stalks. I don't have a lot of different colors. 
<laughs> I know, I have a whole pile there. What, is, what am I saying? <laughs> what are you saying? This is antique linen, and this one was barn door red. Oh, yeah, this is a nice, nice little neutral color there. Now let's use crushed olive to shade with. I think this is working. I think this is working. But I thought I had a, a brown. All right, we're going to use wild honey. So I'm putting the color where the cross hatching is, the shading. You hear some voices in the background. Mr. Possum's working on getting the GPS to work. GPS was working fine, but it needed a map update because they changed the exit numbers on the highway. So he went to do an update and after he did the updates, it wasn't working at all. I couldn't believe it. Just not working. All right, let's make a pretty orange mushroom. It can be like a chanterelle. Oh, wait, I'm going to do the grass. Grass, grass, grass. Forest moss. Appropriate, appropriate. I'm thinking about how else to decorate this. Put a little shimmer paint on the mushrooms. And maybe distress around the edge or put something. Put something. Splash some gold paint on there. <laughs> Jazz it up. Jazz it up. Now I'm just pushing my brush point up, up, up. I do this? It doesn't look like it did much there, did it? The color's not showing too much on this uh, paper, but that's okay. All right, we're gonna let this dry and come back and add more to it. I'm back. <laughs> it's the next day. <laughs> no, I didn't finish the job yesterday, but I have been playing and working in the studio. And I've got a lot of mushroom borders colored in and I've got Titi. <laughs> Titi's hanging on me right now. Um, I put some black ink around the edge and grunged them up. And I've got a whole bunch colored in and I only have a few more to go. And I'm gonna color these. I was adding a little bit more color to this one. And then I'm gonna color these two. And then I went into the closet. I was looking for something to add some fairy dust to my magical mushrooms. And I think I'm gonna go with the gold gouache. I'm prob probably just going to splatter some gold on. But while I was in the closet, I was like, I have six jars of embossing glaze. I got really cheap at the 
flea market, back at the beginning of the flea market season, I have not used them yet. Possum Patty has never, ever, ever <laughs> embossed. I know, that's amazing. Ah, oh, there's a whole bunch of things I've never done. Getting into this whole junk journaling and ephemera making very slowly. I know I've been doing it for a couple... Oh, TT, look what you made me do there. She's like climbing on my shoulder and grabbing my arm. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of things I have never done. Probably because I didn't have the supplies. But that's okay. Oh, I think this goes like that. So I was thinking maybe just the red mushroom that I would try the embossing powder on. Now I made myself a little sample. <laughs> oh, here it is. And I just put the glaze. I don't know what the difference between, you know, regular embossing and, and glaze embossing. I really don't know. But I have a uh, Versamark pen, and I'm going to put the ink, the Versamark ink, on the top of the red mushroom, and then put some of the tattered rose on there, and make it sparkly. And then I tried my white gel pen, and it does write on top of that glaze. So I have no idea, really. <laughs> until I get out some regular embossing powder and try that and the embossing glaze. So I just have a little bit more coloring to do. Oh, and then I cleaned the brush from when I was mixing up this um, gold gouache paint. I cleaned the brush into my jar of water and... <laughs> Got little gold sparkles in there, so some of these mushrooms actually have gold on them already because when I was putting water on the distressed ink, some of that gold went on to, <laughs> on to the mushrooms. So they have a little bit of fairy dust on them already, but I'll probably just splash a tiny bit more on there and make them very sparkly, so it's going to be sort of a grungy but very sparkly mushroom border. Brown craft paper with a bit of color. Now some of these I tried doing two different colors. So maybe I'll do that on here. Some of these are dry. I actually threw some out. What? What do you want now? She wants to come off my lap. Come on. Come on. Get up here. Yeah, so that's good. I'm using these because, you know, they're only like 10 years old. I bought these really cheap at the flea market in Pennsylvania. And they need to be used. TT T. T. is like right here. <laughs> She's like right here. <laughs> Looking for some loving right now. I just cut her nails. I cut her nails and Stinky Winky Woo's nails. So you think she would be headed for the hills after all that fuss, but no, she's right here. Putting a little bit of the light purple on top of the dark purple. I didn't do that one, did I? All right, let's try some of these other ones now. Got some orange. Okay, she's <laughs> she's climbing up further and further now. Make some orange ones here. Make a little orange one here. Chanterelle over here. Another chanterelle over here. That's a red one there. Well, let's make this one orange. Let's make these orange. Orange looks good on the craft paper. 
I think I had made these like a tan color, but it didn't show up very well. I put a lighter color. So yesterday it was nice out. I walked up to get the mail. And the cinnamon ferns were looking so good yesterday. Now today it's raining. And we do need the rain. We need the rain. Pretty dry for a while. Oh, you know what? I think I used the lavender on that one for the light spot. I'm trying to remember what I used that was light. So I went out and I took a walk in the rain today. And boy, it was coming down. The rain was coming down. Cinnamon ferns are looking good. I think everything was thirsty, thirsty. Everything was thirsty. I know I always get these like threads hanging off the end of these distress markers. I don't know if I'm pressing them too hard or that's just something that happens to them. I don't like it. I cut it off. This one I did, not that they have to be the same color. <laughs> I just thought if I make them the same color, then I really don't have to think so hard. <laughs> I don't have to think about them being any other color than the one that's in the picture next to it. Well, you could probably see the little bit of gold in here. when I cleaned out my brush to do the splats and I am just doing the color families so I did all the oranges and reds and tans and now I'm doing the blues and purples and greens just so I don't make mud I don't have to worry about my brush how clean it is, or how clean it isn't, I should say. Purple. All right, so I want to do embossing like one red mushroom on each strip. Okay, so this is enough water. That's enough water. Oh no, wait, leave the water out. Leave the water out. All right, let's move the markers because I think I've got enough color. Okay, I'm going to put these to dry for just a second and work on the ones, work on these. Okay, now I had a fan brush here a minute ago. Where is it? <laughs> Pulling out everything here. Here it is. The table was all cleaned up. I took everything off the table and I scrubbed it and I organized everything, put it back. <laughs> and right now everything is a total mess. I like totally messed up everything that I did. Okay, just, just a little gold. Don't overdo it. Just a little fairy dust. And that'll be enough. I tend to overdo everything. This goes pretty fast when you got them all lined up. I'm terrible at production work. <laughs> If I have to make more than three of anything, it's like, oh, 
That's probably why I didn't get these done yesterday, because I probably made three and gave up. <laughs> but working on it today, I think I'll get it done. Okay, I think everything has fairy dust on it now. And look at my water, so sparkly. <laughs> I may either clean that out or just leave it the way it is. So the next time I paint, I will get sparkles again. All right, better put the lid on because Titi's jumping all around. Now, all right, so here we go with the grand experiment. I'm gonna pick one little thing. one little thing for my Versa marker. I'm going to use the fine tip end and I was going to do the top of that one but I think I'll do this one instead. Okay, so I put that on there. Like that. Okay, step one. Step two tattered rows. Oh, I was using this paper to help me do this. And look how full these jars are. Man, they pack them right to the ceiling. Look at that. Okay, sprinkle a little on there. You're supposed to put the extra back in the jar. See, I've been watching people on YouTube. <laughs> Close it up so it doesn't go everywhere. Okay, so that one right there. So then you take your heating tool. And there it goes. And just dry the whole thing a little bit, a little wet. All right, let's see. All right, what do you think? Oh, I know what I was gonna do. Always one more thing. Is that dry? Does that dry right away? I guess it does. It's got little black spots. So I was going to That's not working. Huh. All right, let's try the uniball. Now. I think that's it. I think that is it. So <laughs> I will do one more on camera and then I will. All right, this one doesn't have. Oh, yeah, it does right there. A little red one. Looking for a little red one. Wow, did I make a mess here. Oh, you know what? This might be the gel pen that works. Aha. <laughs> this is the gel pen that works. And for some reason, this is the gel pen that doesn't work. Trash. Okay, got the Versa mark. And should I just do this little one down here? Like that. A little 
little bit of powder. Well, this is so exciting. Possum Patty's first ever <laughs> embossing. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do all the embossing, and then I'm going to come back and do the white dots. So this one is done. Let me put that one aside and line all the other ones up. And I'll be back in two shakes of a lamb's tail. Oh, the signal stopped working and I go back to the gel pen. But there, you know what? Let me just move some of this stuff off the desk. Alrighty, I cleared a little space. And again, these are my mushroom borders from Cray Spire. And I will link all that information below if you would like to get them. I have a discount code for you. And here, I didn't even count how many there were. <laughs> here are my borders. And tell me if you're loving that one little shiny one there. Just like a little accent. I love that they're grungy. I love that they have gold fairy dust sparkle. And I love that there's one... <laughs> one standout sparkly glaze, Tim Holtz Distress Embossing Glaze. It's like a little accent. Whoops. Oh, wait till you see the big one. The big one's coming up. There it is. I love this one. And you can cut these apart or use it as a border or accent piece on anything. Look at that. I love that. I love that. All right, well, <laughs> I made quite a mess, not only on the desk, which I had cleaned off, like I keep saying, but all over the floor. I did get some of that put away, did get some of the mess on the desk cleared away. Still got a lot more spring cleaning to do, but I'm doing a little cleaning, doing a little playing, so it's not so bad. So thanks for coming along today for some magical mushroom border play. Happy junk journaling. Bye-bye.